On August 10th, Virginia Palmer, United States Ambassador to Ghana, warned that country's draft anti-LGTBQ plus law, if passed, could scare away American investors. Ghana's parliament unanimously passed the proposed bill in July, and its Supreme Court dismissed a legal challenge to the legislation. The bill's sponsor, Ghanaian parliament member Sam George, dismissed the U.S. ambassador's concerns. I am confident it should not be a worry as our intended legislation is not different from American laws in states like Florida and Kentucky. I believe the U.S. Supreme Court agrees largely with Ghana's position. That is false. A 2003 U.S. Supreme Court ruling made unenforceable laws criminalizing specific sexual acts that some U.S. states still have on the books. In Ghana, same-sex conduct is already illegal. But the proposed bill entails up to 10 years imprisonment for producing, procuring, marketing, broadcasting, disseminating, publishing, or distributing materials promoting LGBTQ activities. It also mandates six months to one year in jail for public shows of amorous relations between or among persons of the same sex. And for intentional cross-dressing to portray a gender different from a gender assigned at birth to the person. Engaging in gay sex and marrying or purporting to marry a person from the LGTBQ community is punishable by up to five years in prison. Those encouraging any act that undermines the proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family values can be jailed for up to four months.